Welcome everyone to our Thursday night um, training call. Tonight we are talking about vendor events. And first I wanna ask how many have done a vendor event? I know Stacy has, okay, so a few of you have, that's awesome. All right, so let's, so we have some that have, and so this is great and several of you have not, so. All right, I've been a consultant for, I think 12 years, something like that, 12, 13, I don't know. Anyways, some, somewhere around there. And first of all, don't let them intimidate you. Don't let them overwhelm you. You start with what you have. And 12 years ago, I started with just my kit. And I'm going to show you. I went and found a picture of my first vendor event. I was trying to do figure out the screen share in here, but it's not working. So I'm gonna see if I can find my first vendor event. It was so funny looking back now. Yeah, no, that wasn't. I know I found it. Just give me a second here. It was literally like my kit and I think a warmer that was gifted to me. So that's how I joined Sensi and um, my kit. And I know I found it and now I can't find it, of course. I'm sorry. Oh, here it is. I don't know if you guys can, can you guys see that? Is that working? So that was Sensi 12 years ago. <laughs> so we've come a long way. <laughs> um, did you guys know we used to have a line called Velada? It was a food line. So it was fondue. So this is when we had fondue many years ago. And we had a purse line for a while. And I didn't get a picture of that. And this was um, short. This was shortly after um, I was in Sensi, and this is me and Michaela. Michaela is my baby girl that's getting married a week from now, so she literally grew up on Sensi. So, <laughs> so just interesting how things evolved. This was a, a magnetic sign I had on my car. I was doing a home party. Um, this is when I lived up in the Chicago land area. So I was doing a home party in, in Rockford, Illinois. While I was at that home party, I came out and my sign was gone off my car. Somebody stole my sign off my car while I was inside doing the home party. So Ooh, I don't know. Why they, <laughs> I said shocker <laughs> in Rockford. I don't know why they wanted a sign with my name and phone number on it. And God only knows where that sign is today, but you guys, I love this business because like, I have so many stories to tell and to share and things that have happened. And so many of these stories now involve so many of you because we've gone to events together or we've traveled together. Like, like this is amazing, right? So anyways, getting back to um, doing vendor events. Vendor events are open the opportunity to network with so many people. Like I've done a vendor of events where there's thousands of people and I've done a vendor of events where maybe 20 people came through. You just never know. Um, of course, if you're paying a larger fee, you're paying for a, a, like a festival, there's gonna be thousands of people there and that's why you pay those larger fees, right? But don't let them intimidate you and start with what you have. So I started doing, um, fundraisers really as events. So I went to, um, I, I got in touch with a band director at a local high school. Um, I lived in uh, a town called Bartlett in Illinois, and that's where we lived for many, many years. And I got in touch with a band director at a local high school and they let me come and all the moms got together and let me come and set up a display. And I did a fundraiser um, for all the moms. And I just took orders. I just had a display. I did several churches up in the area. I just went and set up a display, took orders, and um, that those were fundraisers for the church. And I just took orders. So, but that's how I built up my stock. And then I started doing vendor events where I sold cash and carry. 
So that fundraisers are an amazing way to open the door for you to do fundraisers where you're not paying out of your pocket to build up your stock. Does this make sense? If anyone has any questions while I'm talking, please feel free just to unmute yourself and chime in. Um, this is what this call is all about, is to, to teach you how you can do vendor events for little or no out-of-pocket uh, out cost. So you, you, I also always have my own shopping link set up, so I'm the host of that party. And throughout the year, whenever I get that built up, I start, uh, I use that to build up my stock, okay? Um, now, my events today are way different than what I do. Now, um, I just, the only one I really have a picture of is, um, I do a shrimp festival uh, down on the beach here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. And I know I have a picture of that. So this was, um, this was, we had a double booth. We had a double booth last year. So two 10 by 10 booths, way different than my first vendor event, <laughs> right? <laughs> way, way different. But that's how your business can evolve over time. Um, vendor events, okay, I know Sensi does buy, host, join, but I always like to train you to do join, host, buy. Vendor events, we sometimes you get caught up in the sale. It's easy to get caught up in the sale, but you have to remember you are there first to recruit, to recruit. Okay. I want you always, when you do a vendor events, like focus on the opportunity. Somebody walks into my booth and they're like, Martha, or they don't say Martha. They're like, oh my gosh, I love Sensi. I love Sensi. I'm like, oh my goodness, you need to be a Sensi girl like me so you can get commissions off your own product. I just make it lighthearted and fun. That's how I talk to people. Uh, they'll walk in and be like, oh my gosh, um, black raspberry vanilla. It's my favorite scent. I love it so much. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, did you know you could get a discount on that if you're a consultant? So you kind of just remember, you kind of, and, and these are um, replies that you have to get into the habit of saying because it always doesn't come natural, but you have to train yourself to talk this way to customers when they walk into your booth or even you're at a party. Um, make sure you're always offering the opportunity. But when you put it like that, it's not so direct, right? And a lot of times they'll just laugh at me and say, oh my goodness, I could never do this. You know, that's okay. You know, I planted that seed. Okay. Um, so events for new teenies, parties, um, new customers, networking. Also make sure you're talking. Always have a smile on your face. You guys always have a smile on your face when you're doing these vendor events. All right. How do you find vendor events? People always ask. Uh, Facebook is a great place to find events. Um, if you go onto Facebook, you go under events, a lot of local events will come up in your area. Um, another thing you could do is take a selfie of yourself, go post it on Facebook and say, does anyone know of any opportunities where I could sell up to sell Sensi in the area? Are there any craft shows um, in the area, schools doing anything? Uh, again, you could do that as a fundraiser too. Hey, I'm looking for fundraisers in the, um, I'm looking to get back to my community. Let's do it like that. I'm looking to get back to my community. Does anyone know of a church, school, band group, sports team looking to raise some money? Just put it up. And I say to uh, do a selfie because people always relate to your picture, okay? That's another thing you could do. Um, Chamber of Commerce in your local area is a great place to contact your city. Um, go to their website, see what festivals are coming up, different things like that. Um, check all those out in your area. Somebody had a question. I missed it. I don't see there's so many Jen. <laughs> I see Shauna. That's awesome. Um, another thing too, when you are looking to do fundraisers, a lot of times, like right now, um, we've got, we're going into our fall winter season and we're going to do these fundraisers. As soon as these end, typically the registration opens up for your spring events. So always remember that always be thinking ahead for your business. Okay. So my festivals that I have coming up, 
So um, my daughter's wedding is next Thursday. Two weeks later, we have Shrimp Fest. And I for three, four weekends in a row, I have festivals every single weekend. So all those festivals were, were booked like in the spring. So always think you got to be thinking ahead um, in our business. And if anyone knows of any other air, uh, anything else where you find events, please chime in. We want to hear all the things. Um, so typically what they do, they have you fill out an application, you apply to be into the, um, into the event. Um, most of the time, uh, sometimes you have to pay right away. Other times you have to wait till you get an acceptance email back. And then that's when you pay. Um, all righty. I'm trying to stay on track here. Payments. How do you take payments? Uh, Melissa said, there's a lot of Facebook groups in my area for events. Yes, there is. There's, there's, we have, um, I think it's called Southern Alabama events or vendor events or something like that. And if you're in your area, there's probably a Facebook group like that as well. I use, um, I use several different things for payments. So I use Square. You can get a Square reader for free if you go to squareup.com. So these are it for any credit card payments. I just had this done and I'm so proud of it. I had this made off of Etsy. Um, can you guys see that or no? So here's my Venmo. I have Cash App. Then they can connect to me on Facebook. Um, does somebody have a question? So, um, so this... Like, I love that they can just scan the QR code to do payments. Before I had that, I had- I a question about payments real quick. Yes. So when you have those QR codes for like PayPal and stuff, mm -hmm. is it the PayPal QR code and you just put your at whatever on there or is it directly to you? Um, this goes directly to like my cash app or my Venmo and they can just pay me right there. And this goes directly to my Facebook page. Yeah, I would say, you know, I could do one for like my Facebook page and anything that has a URL, but I don't know how to do it for- um, A for QR PayPal. code? Yeah, I, I thought the QR code was just PayPal and then you have like your at, like whatever you, your username is. You can create a QR code for anything because you just put the link in there and then it creates the QR code for you. And you can do it through canva.com. Yeah, it, uh, the, it does it all for you right then. When you connect that link to it, it'll make a QR code. And these are the ones, and I, you guys, I got these at, I think Dollar Tree, these frames, these are the ones I, I had before I had that little fancy one. So it doesn't have to be fancy. These are the ones I used to have and I, just printed these off in my printer and um, put the QR codes on there. So don't feel like you got to have something fancy. Um, so um, so make sure you always have change when you go to a vendor events, lots of single dollar bills, five, tens, twenties, and then lots of change as well. I have a cash, cash box. I got it at Walmart. I still have the same one that I bought 12 years ago. Um, or if you have a money bag and keep your money in a money bag, just be careful because you don't want someone to be stealing that. Keep your eye on it. Maybe sometimes I, I've even used like a um, uh, a belt. What are they called, you guys? The belt bags? Belt bags. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, put, you can keep your money in there. Just, just be cautious, especially if you're by yourself. Um, I label everything, everything, everything has labels on it because a lot of times people are buying gifts. So you want to make sure they have their contact information. So when they need something, they are coming back to you. Uh, these are go in all my warmer boxes. So this just says, thank you for being my customer. And then it has QR code on here that goes to my website. And on the back, I had from our family to yours, thank you for believing in our small business. We hope you love your Sensi products as much as we do. XOXO since by Mimi. And then it's a picture of our family. Um, and then on my all, everything else, I have Avery labels um, with my information. I, I don't have anything right here. Um, but they're just, oh, they're, they're actually these little labels right here goes on everything else. 
So make sure you label, label everything. All right, every time somebody buys something from me, I give them a coupon. Why a coupon? I want these customers to come back and buy from me. So this is giving them a reason to come back to me. Yes, I could just put a card in there with my website, but they can go to any consultant and buy, right? But if I have a, a coupon for them, hopefully they'll come back to me, okay? So this goes in every single bag. Again, like I printed these off of Canva um, and I just picked them up at my local Staples store here. Um, and I, yeah, I did the same thing with these as well. Um, all right. Some events require a business license, not all of them. And when I lived in Illinois, I did not have to have a business license, but in Alabama, we do. So it just depends on your state and where you live. The amazing thing is, is if you contact Sensi, they will provide you with the business license. So I, I emailed Sensi and they sent me a business license for the state of Alabama, for Baldwin County, and for Gulf Shores, where I needed one. So don't pay for that. Sensi will provide that for you if your event requires that business license. Um, okay. When you're doing a vendor events, make sure you get everyone's contact information. Okay. Some people are not going to give it to you, of course, but do everything you can to get their contact information. All right. I print off order forms and I have clipboards. Okay. If you don't have, you don't have to have Sunsy clipboards. You can go to Dollar Tree and buy clipboards, you guys. Um, so I print off order forms and when I am cashing someone out, I say, can I please have your name, email, and phone number? A lot of people will give it to me. They're more than happy to give it to me. So get their contact information. You don't want people coming to your booth and buying something and you never got their contact information. How are you going to follow up with them? Make sure you get their contact information. Super, super important. Um, Another thing I do too is as you build inventory, I also use Square to keep track of my inventory. It can be a, a, a inventory tracker as well. So, um, the 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 number here on your uh, this. All of our product has these numbers except for our rim sprays and our scent circles. So this is how I, I use this number here and I just put this in my square, okay? Put the name of it. And when I am checking somebody out, I have, again, this took time to build up to this. I have this little cute little scanner thing and I scan the products and it deducts it from my inventory. Like, how cool is that? I feel like I'm just like super duper professional now. Like I have a store, not really. But anyways, this, the, and there's only certain scanners that will hook to square. So if you need help with that, let me know. Um, this one is the socket one, socket scanner. Um, Cause we are crazy busy when we do shrimp fest and we need to, we have, we have to hustle. So that's what I do, but I didn't used to have the scanner. I just kept my inventory in my tracker and I would just manually deduct it. So you can do that too. Um, let me see. All right, make sure your display is eye appealing. When people walk into your booth, you wanna have various heights. So um, a lot of times I just use my boxes. Like our boxes are pretty, right? So take your warmer out and just set it on your box. Um, and then have like different heights if you possibly can. And another thing too, I use my whiff boxes. The whiff boxes are pretty. You can use those um, to set stuff on and create variance in heights there. It makes it more eye appealing when people walk into your booth. You want it to be pretty. So make sure, and don't feel like you gotta buy, go buy accessories and all the fluff and all that. Our warmers are pretty as they are, right? Um, so make sure your display is eye appealing. 
warm one of the classic bars, one of our favorites. Make sure you take choo choose a bar out of the favorites category. There's a reason we have that favorites category. Those are classics. They've been around for years. Those are our top sellers. So make sure you're warming one of those in your booth. Now, I warm blue blueberry cheesecake when I do outdoor events. People are drawn to the food at festivals and fairs and stuff like that. They are drawn to the food and they think I have blueberry cheesecake in my booth. They will sniff me down to find that blueberry cheesecake and then they find out it's actually not food, <laughs> but it draws people to my booth. And I'm going to, I'll just be honest with you. I really don't like blueberry cheesecake, but it works when I'm outside at festivals. It, it draws people to my booth and it's the top seller every single time almost that I am doing an outdoor event. Um, so I try to have all the things in blueberry cheesecake at my outdoor events. So make sure you're, you're warming a bar that, um, that is a top seller. Okay. Um, make sure you are talking to people, you're building relationships. Um, you're asking them questions. Like people come into the booth and I'm always like, um, do you, if it's a, I'll, I'll um, a mom, I'm like, do you work outside of the home? Like, I'm trying to get to know her. I'm trying to build a relationship. If they have kiddos, I'm talking to the kiddos. Um, the mom, I, I'll probably compliment her on her 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 shirt, her purse, her hair. Like, you know, that kind of breaks down the walls when you compliment people. They, you're kind of gaining that trust. And I feel like if I have established this relationship and we've chit chatted for a while, then I'll say, oh my goodness, let's connect on social media. So, and if she's open to that, and if she's on Facebook, um, I'll have her send me a friend request. And uh, when she leaves the booth, I'll go in there, accept the friend request. I screenshot her profile and I put all those in a file. So at the end of my show, I can go back and follow up with those people and start commenting on their Facebooks. Okay, does that all make sense? Any questions, right? I want to build relationships. I am here to build relationships and to network with people, okay? Um, and remember, remember, remember when they're coming into your booth as well, that you start opening up wax. Let them smell it like different scents. Like, hey, let's find out what your favorite scent is. Do you like woodsy scents? Do you like bakery scents? What do you like? The smelling does the selling, guys. Smelling does the selling. Always remember that. Smelling does the selling. Um, and I always another thing too. Um, I want. I always want them to make. I want them to leave my booth feeling warm and fuzzy and special, right? That's how I want people to leave my booth. And so make sure that's always your goal when you're you're coming there. And so when we do, um, typically now. Um, we have like, I have my family come, I have my kids come and we do the booth some, a lot of times as a family that gives me an opportunity to build those relationships. And if you have somebody that can come with you, even if it's one of your kiddos, um, I've even brought my dog before, like, oh my gosh, my booth was full all the time. When I brought my little toy poodle, everyone wanted to come and pet the dog. Um, you know, and so just kind of think outside the box. So this year at shrimp festival, we actually got a, um, a, a Oh, what is it called? It's the bubble thing. It's going to shoot bubbles out. All the kids are going to be at my booth because they're going to want to play in the bubbles. So think outside the box. You know, I've had balloons there before and I would give out balloons. Like, just think like I, a lot of times I bring candy to my booth and so are suckers. And I'll ask the parents, hey, can they have a sucker? Like do something to to make people feel special and to create conversations. Okay. Um. And you, you've already like paid to be at this festival or this event or this show, whatever, make the most out of your time, like get the most out of your time while you're there. You are taking time out of your crazy busy schedule. You paid to be there, make the most out of that event that you possibly can. Um, oh, uh, drawing slips, make sure you have a drawing box in your booth. Okay. Um, you can just get a jar, a big jar at Dollar Tree and uh, print off a little sign on there. Um, win free products, earn free, pro or not earn, um, enter my drawing and get free Sensi. I don't know, whatever you want to put on the jar or the box or whatever you get. 
I, I used to use the Sunsy box, but for if the wind picks up, it blows away. So, <laughs> so get a jar or something that's heavier. Um, that's not gonna blow away. So here the drawing slips, you can you can make these yourself, or I just got these out of the consultant store. I like these ones, they work fine for me. I've been using them for years. And I love that it has these boxes down here. All right, so at the end of the show, when it's all said and done, and you know it's the next day and I'm back home, I'm gonna go through all the slips. I'm lying, that's not true. I go through the slips all every single day. <laughs> I wanna see who's gonna join my team next. <laughs> that's not true. So yeah, I go through them the same day, that same night, and I see who checked boxes. And so what I do is if any of these boxes are checked on the drawing slip, they those are all winners for me. Every single one of those persons, they're gonna win something from me. Why? I wanna get in contact with them. If they live local to me, I want to meet up with them. Um, if they, you know, especially if they're interested in earning extra income or if they want to host a party, like, right, I want to get in contact with them as soon as possible. The rule, of the, the, the rule is it's 24 to 48 hours. You want to get them while they're still interested. Don't wait for weeks to contact them, right? Contact them with, within 24 to 48 hours. Super important. Um, okay. Oh, a lot of times when I'm doing an event, I will give the gift or the um, event coordinator, I give them a, a gift. I just put a cute little bag, tie a ribbon on it, and I give them a gift. I want them to remember me and I want to make them feel special and thank them for their, all their hard work because vendor events are hard work. Okay. So that just makes them feel special, helps them to remember me. And I built another connection there. Right. And so whenever they do another vendor event, I want them to... Do, I want them to have me, right? I want them to have me back as their sensey girl. Um, just um, some other things I'm going to throw out there you may need. Power strips. You need power strips when you're doing vendor events. You need long extension cords. You need to have a bag like this is my vendor event, event bag. Power strips, long extension cords. If you're outside, make sure they're um, they're safe. If it rains, um, a canopy. If you're going to be, if you need to be outside um, for any, sometimes they require a canopy when you're doing these outdoor events. Sometimes they just let you set up a table. Um, I just like the simple black tablecloths. I just think they look classy. Um, it helps create that um, vibe in your in your booth. Um, order forms, drawings, zip ties, you guys, zip ties are like your best friend. <laughs> zip ties, like um, any clear packaging tape, like that, keep that in your bag. Scissors, you're going to want scissors in there as well. I don't know. I always need scissors for some reason. Lots of pens, um, cash box, money bag, brand yourself, brand your booth. Signage is super important. I, I missed that. I'm going to go over signage here in just a minute. Oh, get the bags from the um from the consultant store. You get ten. You get ten bags for a dollar. Just add them to an order. I love the clear bags. When people are walking around at the festival, they're like, "Oh my gosh, Sensi's here!" Because they can see through the bag, right? Sensi's here. Where's the Sensi lady at? I need some wax. I need a light bulb. Where's she at? I've had that happen. I don't know how many times. So love the clear bags. Ten for a dollar. All right, signage. I want to talk about signage. Is there questions in there? Can somebody check the chat and let me know what questions there are? All right, these are old signs, but uh, my other ones are out in my my uh, trailer. So I'm just gonna show you these. I just, I still use these signs. I just changed the verbiage on them. So, Martha, there's no questions. Oh, thank you, hon. Thank you, thank you. All right, so all the signage in my booth, I use on, I, I typically just use my own pictures when we were on a trip. And on Canva, I just add some verbiage on them. Why? Because people see this is a this is this is me, right? Wow, you earn a lot of trips. Where was this picture taken at? It creates conversation. And so then I'll just add on there, join join Sensi, or uh, I think on the one I, I have now it says um uh earn earn free trips or something like that on there, I think. Um, all right, another thing they relate to. This is me and my granddaughter. Well, they're, I planted a seed, right? I think, wow, she, you know, they probably, 
um, creating memories together, right? Freedom, flexibility. That's what I think I have on that one. I'm trying to remember what I had on there. I wish I had those up from out there. Um, I have a picture of kits, right? Again, I got my picture on there. Put your picture on there, the QR code. Signage is super, super important in your booth. I also have one that has uh, talks about fundraisers. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're always taking pictures of yourself with, with products when you do events. Um, I have another one I'm gonna print off for our festival that we took at SFR together. Um, and I'm gonna put something on there about the community. People are looking for community right now. They wanna be a part of something. They wanna feel like they belong. We have an amazing community in Sensi, right? So um, what a great time for um, people to join. All right, anyone who wanna unmute themselves, add, I know Stacy does vendor events. Um, Shauna, you do vendor events, Melissa. Tina, like you guys, feel free to contribute anything that I might have missed. You guys think of anything? I would say don't overthink it. I think when I did my first one, I, I thought I needed like everything. And it was just overwhelming for me. And I really didn't yeah. sell that much because I just had so much stuff around me. It was like overwhelming. Keep it sensey simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep it sensey simple. I do have a question. Yes. Um, Mariah just joined my team and we actually live within a few minutes of each other. Congratulations. So we were thinking about doing one together. Okay. But how would you suggest doing that to where we're both getting something out of it? Uh, sp split everything 50-50. You bring okay. the same dollar amount in product. Um, and I've, I've um, what we've done before too is... I'll be right back. Give me a second here. I got to grab something. <laughs> we put like I was green and somebody else was blue and went. So they would just put those on our product. So we knew whose product was who. So it was easy at the end of the day when it was all said and done. And then, of course, split the money 50 50, split your drawing slips 50 50, split each of the um, order forms 50 50. Or if you know whose customer is whose, you can write your name on them. Um, or on the drawing slips, if one of you are connected with that person, just write your name on the drawing slip. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. They're fun to do together, super fun. All right, anyone else wanna contribute, have any thoughts? You know, I, I did find out when, um, so I, I'm in Lansing, Illinois, and somebody wanted to do one as a group down in Kankakee but that was actually too far from my house for me to be in that territory. So I thought, I never knew that there was actually a, a territory on how far you can go from your house. Oh, there's not. Where did you see that at? Um, it was something on the workstation. I'll have to find it and I'll send it to you. And maybe if I'm misreading it. I think you are because um, we don't have, like I know of superstar directors of fly across many, many states and they do um, festivals all over the place. So what is, um, because like when you're talking about doing an event together, because I thought I read something else that there's not supposed to be two Sensi consultants at the same event. That used to be uh, a rule of thumb, but Sensi really cannot control that. So that's up to the event coordinator. I've gone to vendor events and there was another Sunsi person there. Last year I did Saucy's Festival and it was me and two boosts down was another Sunsi rep. But I mean, I, I can't complain though. I mean, six hours, we sold $3,000. I don't know what she sold, but, um, and I she was probably busy too, so. I went down and I talked to her. I introduced myself. I had sensey spirit. And that's what you do if that happens. <laughs> it's not always like at first you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. But you push past that and just be friendly. It's happened to me more than once, to be honest with you. And sometimes that other person was not so friendly to me. <laughs> it's okay though. There, because right here in uh, 
town every autumn. They have an autumn fest. And um, I asked the lady if I could be a vendor. And she said, yeah. And she didn't realize till like a month later after she told me, and I had already ordered some stuff, that there was um, another vendor. And she said that there can only be one consultant at an event. And then I did see that somewhere on the website. So yeah, since they used to have that, but they do not, they took that away because they cannot control that. There's no way for them to control that. Yeah. It's okay. up to the vendor event. So that's no longer in there, but I'll be honest with you. Some festivals I've done, like they, they'll just put me on the opposite side of the park and there's enough traffic for both of us. I mean, yeah. You know, so Stacy, has that happened to you? It's happened to me. It, ha it happened to you? Oh, I remember mm -hmm. that. Yes, yes. Yeah. By the time, so she actually, she did a no-no and she had crafts with her or something. It was at this one festival um, and it was like four, about 40 minute drive for me. Um, so when she signed up, she signed on under her craft thing. Not sensi. Uh, that happened so to me got, one time too for somebody. She signed up. She snuck in that way. Yeah. So she was towards the front. I was towards the back. By the time people got to me, they're like, oh, look, there's another one. And they kept walking. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it happens. Yeah. Yeah. And you I just don't... try and keep a good attitude. Yeah. All right. Anyone else? Questions, thoughts? I have, I have an iPad. I actually bring a, uh, a couple of different iPads to all my vendor events. And so I have my square on here. It just makes it easier. It's a little bit bigger um, when I'm taking payments. Um, and then I always too, like um, sometimes, you know, somebody's going to want something I don't have. And so I bring my iPad and I'm like, if they want to order something at my vendor events, I'll, if they're not local to me, um, I'll still offer to pay for the shipping if they want something just to try and build that rapport with them to get them as a customer. I live in a vacation area and we have a, when I do shrimp festival, typically almost probably 60% of the people do not live here. We're in Alabama um, that come through shrimp, shrimp festival. So, uh, which is actually kind of a blessing because it helps, it's getting me out of my area, right? So so Martha, I'm oh, sorry. I was having trouble uh, finding the unmute. I couldn't get my screen to pop up so I could hit the unmute. But yes, I have had that happen at least once before. And I, I think that would. with the events, and I think it depends on the um, the uh, the the event and the event coordinator and what their rules are on whether yeah. they allow more than one vendor type in or not. You know. Yeah. So some some I've been some vendor events. It's all just. The money they're making from the applications and they don't care how many are there <laughs> yeah so yeah it's really the event coordinator yeah <clears throat> all right anyone else any thoughts questions before we go we will not have a call next week because my daughter is getting married next thursday so <laughs> no call next week so take the night off and uh we've got Hello. Director for the days next week. I'm taking all next week off. And thank you for each of you that have signed up to be director for the day next week. You might have a couple of days open still. I need to go check that out. But, um, and you guys have a great week and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Martha, okay. this is yes. Melissa. Do you have me for Thursday? I do. No, I do not. But I, I think it's what the, is it the 21st or something? I have the 22nd and the 23rd open, I think. Okay. I need to go check the Facebook post. Yeah, I'm okay. the 21st, I think. Yes, oh, okay. You're the 21st, Tina. Yeah, thank you. Can you do I the 21st? Whatever day is fine. Okay, I'll have you on the 22nd. 22nd, okay. It looks like I still have the 23rd open, maybe. Anybody else wants to do one? Um... I can do the 23rd. Who is that? Brittany. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brittany. You're welcome. Which Brittany is this? We have several Brittany's. The Royce. Oh, there you are. I see you on the thing now. Okay. Thank you, hon. Appreciate You're that. Welcome. And congrats to everyone. Several of you have new teamies. Congratulations.
This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Going to be going to Orlando, Hawaii, whatever it may be. Maybe Bora Bora, who knows? All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you.